Hello everyone, it's Kritik here from IT Rebels and we are learning about React.js and Next.js in this video and we are also building our own port portfolio where we will list all the work what we have did uh, till now whatever we skill we have whatever language we have learned and some necessary skill set which we have and link to our uh, resume or CV so you can use this portfolio to get a better job and display your work uh, professionally so let's begin so once again welcome to IT Rebels uh, we are trying to build a better community of uh, fellow developers so uh, this is a community of where you can connect with fellow coding enthusiasts access valuable resources engage with this uh, engage in a discussion collaborate on projects and participate in exciting events and learning opportunities so we are highly active on discord we also created our own discord channel if you want uh, to join that or di the discord you can follow that link in the description uh, just a quick peek uh, what our discord look like so if you are entering in web3 and you want to learn more about web3 uh, you have to follow all these channels to get proper information but we have make it we made it simplified and followed everyone and you will get every information every announcement from them on this channel news and uh, these are members only uh, places like uh, only developer can access all these channels so if you want to be a developer here just go and access this developer if you react on that you will be granted role of developer so this is role based general uh, general is uh, for everyone you can join when you join it you will be assigning a role of rebels and you you will get access to this general but if you want specific want to uh, be a web3 developer and uh, join web3 community then you have to uh, like join it rebels with your verify verify your wallet and join it rebels uh, it's just it's very simple it will take, take less than 30 seconds to do that and you will be get access to this uh, web3 community members only so this is about our community if you want to join we would love to have you there already 50 people have joined our community and we are waiting for more people so on youtube we have 7.2k subscribers right now and we are really proud of that let's begin with our course and let's start so you can also for check out my portfolio at kritik.servicesstrategy.com this is my old portfolio and here is my instagram id if you want to connect me with me on instagram you can just ping me here okay so what are we going to learn in this video first of all this is the table of content uh, check out this pause your video and check out this what we have written here so in this video we are building uh, this part practical react js plus next js so how and then we uh, uh, in the second part of this uh, series we will be integrating our databases like to display the dynamic data uh, we are using mongodb for that and then afterward uh, in third part we will be uh, deploying in this uh, aws amplify aws server we can also deploy it on varsel we will uh, deploy it on varsel too but uh, aws uh, no one is showing how to deploy it on aws so we are showing sh uh, we will be display uh, how will how you can deploy your application on aws and connect with your uh, custom domain and environment variables yep we are doing that so a quick pick about me so i am kritik shah uh, web 2 and web 3 web developer so greetings my name is kritik shah i am 23 year old front end web developer i am passionate about expanding my knowledge and skill set within web 3 and blockchain technologies yep that's me let's start so first of all uh, the step this in this step we are going to follow uh, in this video so first step will be project setup 
the second step will be building our components and displaying uh, like creating a web structure for our project third we will be uh, use fake mock data so we can display what we have done so this is what we are going to do let's start with our vs code project setup on vs code so if you are new like completely new about this technology web to uh, web development then you have to do something like first of all you must have few things like node.js and node node js i already i know you have already installed everything and project setup because but we still want uh, like newcomers to know what we are doing so just install it uh, go next 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 and it will install you uh, let it do it, uh, this or you can watch any other youtube video uh, to install node js it's very simple you can install it then uh, you must have a code editor for that we, we can use vs code vs code is a really good editor so i already have vs code once you have installed this uh, we open your vs code uh, so um, so it, it will be look like this go to extension and install some extension like auto rename tag it will make your life easy uh, ES6 React Redux snippet. So install that. ES Lint Prettier. Okay. So and Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. And also VS Code icons for better visual representation of folders and files. So this is the must have uh, extensions. Uh, for developers uh, let's start uh, with our project setup so let's create a folder somewhere uh, let's say our in our desktop only in our desktop we have to create a new folder called portfolio p o r t portfolio create it this okay now we have to open our terminals control delay to control have our terminal open then we have to type this npx npx c r e a t create hyphen next n a s t next a p p app at latest then dot for dot means uh, we want everything inside this uh, folder only that's why we are uh, typing dot if we do want some other in folder inside this portfolio like application app then it will create a new folder and uh, it will create a project inside this app uh, folder but we want uh, in this same folder so we, uh, i am putting dot now he will ask like want to proceed yes Would, do you like typescript uh, so many people don't like typescript but uh, let's say yes but we will use javascript only but let's say yes do you want eslint eslint provide like error and everything properly so it will display all errors proper uh, so i will i would recommend using eslint then tailwind css so we want tailwind css in our project so app di source directory do you want it or not so I think I want it and we are using latest uh, app app directory so yes would you like to customize your default importer yes no okay 
so we, we have set up our things now it will install all the node modules for that so you can see all these icons right this icon is because of this extensions vs code icon so i am also using tab 9 which is a really good uh, auto complete uh, feature it provide a very good auto complete feature so you can code faster so node modules has been installed so let's uh, try running this application to run this application you have to uh, check out this package.json and there are script so development environment is dev next uh, npm npm run you uh, and run dev yep so let's open this in our browser localhost 3000 okay why is this and also okay connection first uh, there is some error i guess so the error has been solved uh, like what i did um, after that uh, i just run npm run build to build our application then a then again um, i run npm run dev so to rerun the local host 3000 then our application is running right now so i got this answer here so let's say thanks